What's up guys, this is Adit from Tech is Easy and today I'm going to show you how to cast the screen of your Android phone onto your Windows laptop. So I'm going to talk about two methods over here. So I've also put the timestamps and you can follow that. The first method is a universal method which will work for any Windows laptop and any Android phone. The second one is using the Your Phone app which is the built-in Microsoft app. But there's one problem with this and that is that it's only compatible with some phones. So I've put a list over here and you can see whether your phone is compatible. And before we start, I'd just like to mention one point. So if you've searched the net on how to cast your Android phone, you'll find that there are many third-party apps which will do this for you. So you'll have to install the app on your laptop and on your phone, but there are many problems with this. The first problem is that it'll make your phone and your laptop slower, then most of them do have many ads and some bugs, which is why I suggest you stay away from all of these third-party apps. So let's get started. First, I'm going to be talking about the universal method, which will work on any Android phone and Windows laptop. So now you'll have to go to settings and then you have to search project. So we'll have to go to the projection settings. So that's the first option. Then over here, you can see that it's written, add the wireless display optional feature to project to this PC. So just click on optional features, which is below. And in optional features, click on add a feature, which is the first option. Over here, search for wireless display. And if you click on it, you can get details of what this does. So you can just go through this. And after that, just click on the box to select it. And then you have to install it. So now you can see that it's getting installed and it's done. So now you'll have to go back to the home page of settings and again, search for projection settings. So over here, you have three options. So the first one, as they've recommended, you should keep it on always off. Then the second one is to ask to project to this PC. I usually keep it on every time a connection is requested. And the third one is whether you want to require a pin. So even this setting, I suggest to keep it on always to increase your security. And the next option is whether you want the PC to be discovered for projection only when it's plugged in. So this is up to you. Now you'll just have to select launch the connect app to project to this PC. And if I click on it, you'll see your laptop name over here and they've said that it's ready for you to connect wirelessly. So now I've got my phone and I'll just show you how to connect. So you have to go to your notification panel and in Samsung, they've called the cast option as smart view. So you'll find smart view over here, but if you don't find it over here, you can just go to settings and then search for smart view. And you have to make sure that the Wi-Fi on your laptop and your phone are on. And once that's done, just click on smart view. So from phone to other device, the option S has come, which is the name of this laptop. And if I click on it, I'll just have to click on start now. And now if you see, there's a pin which is showing on the laptop and I have to just enter that on my phone. So I'll quickly enter it. So now I've entered it. And now you can see that the phone is showing on the laptop. So whatever I do over here will show on the laptop. So if I go to YouTube, and I'll just show you my last video. So now I've just gone to my last video and I've made it full screen on my phone and it's become full screen on the laptop as well. So whether you want to see a movie or if you want to play any game, you can do all of that on full screen. So this is basically how it works. So now I'm going to show you the second method and this is primarily only for Samsung phones right now. They are going to add more phones to this list, but right now it's only for the Samsung A series, S series, and they have some other phones. So now I've opened the Your Phone app which is on every Windows laptop. So you can just search for it and you'll find it over here. And if you haven't logged in, you will just have to log in with your Microsoft ID. So over here, I have my Samsung phone. And if I just search link to windows and then just click on add computer. And now you just have to sign with the same Microsoft ID that you did on your laptop. And after that, your laptop and your phone will be connected. So once it's connected, just switch this on. So now my laptop and my phone both are connected. You'll again have to make sure that the Wi-Fi is on on your laptop and your phone. So now both are connected. And if I just go to the app section, so I'll find all of my apps over here. And now to cast your screen, you can see that your phone is on the top left. And in the center, there's a open phone screen option. So I'll just click on that. There on my phone, they've asked me. So I'll just click on start now. 
And the advantage of using the Your Phone app is that you can control it from your laptop or from your phone. So right now, if I control it from my phone, you can see that it's changing on the laptop as well. And now even on the laptop, if I want to open, say, Snapseed, it's opened on my phone. So this is the advantage of using the Your Phone app. And if this video helped you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.